This is Vesta. So we're playing a game where it follows a girl and her robot. So together you work to solve puzzles. There's 36 levels. Each has a series of challenges that you do within them in order to progress. Uh, it is definitely narrative driven, but a narrative driven puzzle game. And there's some interesting concepts as you collect sort of uh, power here that can kind of stop and turn on platforms that either go side to side or up and down. This is the few levels in, like a fair bit in, uh, and into actually Act 1, just so you can get an idea of what it's like. I think it's got a fairly cool atmosphere to it. Uh, I think visually it looks really nice. Are we going to make it? Nope. Why? So it's very simple. You're like going around collecting energy, which turns things on and off. You're picking up the lady, the little girl, going around. I guess she's, I don't know, a teenager or whatever. Uh, the story is told mostly through uh, sort of like a written text. There is also animation-based sort of cartoons that pop up, if that makes sense. So you get like a comic style that comes across the screen and it's all animated. And you sort of go from there. Okay, I'm gonna go into this. Oh, okay. Am I going to be safe here? I'm trying to think of a safe spot. Because you can die fairly easily with the uh, the characters, and then you have to restart from the checkpoints, which aren't exactly the kindest. There we go, so we're going to get in this way. And there's a very, uh, you know, a lot of variables as far as how they set up these puzzles and challenges, and I think there's nice mix-up for things in this. Despite being very simple, it, it definitely, you know, has a nice complexity to it. I wish the aiming was a bit better for the uh, the robot. Kind of awkward. Because you're locked. And you're like, you don't really have like a 360 degree firing range. You sort of are just locked to a square style. Forward, backward, side to side. You get what I mean? So you're going to grab that, and now we can open the door. And continue forward and go with the robot because he actually has the ability to shoot things. Damage. The robot can actually take a little bit of damage. And we're going to take that thing's power. So you also need kind of power to like open doors and the ending and everything like that in order to complete the level. Go, go, go! Crap. Careful here. You can collect the secrets on the levels you find them. One five on this one. I, I like the atmosphere. It sort of has a creepy vibe to it as far as the story goes. So I'm sure there's lots of things going on kind of in the background. It's like sort of mysterious as you're progressing through this. Uh, you know, there's not really humans around, so you're trying to find out like what happened in that regard. Okay, there we go. Oh, it looks like we're already at the uh, the end of this one, but we don't have enough power, do we? Let's see. No, we don't have enough power. So I'm gonna go back and collect one of the power sources. So that power is that one, so that's needed. That one does that door. I guess there's something this way. So that's also another complexity to the actual puzzles, is you have to have the energy to kind of leave. So sometimes you have to go back and actually grab something. really didn't grab any secrets on this one. Which is strange. Usually there's like a out of the way kind of thing. So now we've got what we need, we get out of here. Can we? Did I grab that? Okay, yeah, because I'm going to get three once I finish this part, and then I'll be out of here. And that's really what it comes down to, but I feel there's a, a good selection in just how they set up these puzzles and how the levels are set up. You know, that keeps it interesting, and I, I generally like the character. And I, the art style is really nice, too. It's like cartoonish, but, you know, realistic as well.
and we're onwards to the next level. Cool, here we go, we get to see a bit of the kind of how dialogue and everything is delivered. Uh-huh. So they kind of like just give you little bits of detail on what's going on. The last level was honestly a little bit easy, so we're probably going to get something I imagine a little bit more complex here. I think this is just for a puzzle. I don't like to go too far away from my, uh, or puzzle, I mean a secret. I don't like to go too far away from my robot, because I need him usually, or, yeah, need it. I don't know if we need the power on that one. Oh, and there's, like, these email machines that kind of give you, like, details on what's going on. Although I feel like I've seen that one before. So that opens that door, but we don't have, like, even close to enough power to actually do this. So we're going to have to go back the other way and see what's happening. Don't want to get hit by those because we will die and then we'll have to, you know, checkpoint and everything like that. Which is an inconvenience. Uh, some of the levels, they're a little bit long and they have lots of steps. So it's kind of like, ugh. That turns that off. So we grab one here. One there. One there, that's three. But <laughs> Go in here and explore. So I died there. So now you get an idea of how it looks. And as you can see, I'm like right back at the beginning. Sometimes it's a little bit more fair, but uh, for the most part, it is like really not. So everything's reset, but the secrets are not, so you don't have to redo that. So you can kind of see how they're set to certain movement patterns. How do we open this door? Oh, it looks like he's got some secrets behind him. But I don't have any power to it. Okay. I get it now. I think I actually have to die to do this. Maybe you can shoot that way. Hmm. Or maybe we. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I see it. And then we gotta get the power going like this, oh crap. And then we can open this door. Got it. No! How could this happen? <laughs> yeah, well we we know what we're doing now, so we're we're good there. I don't think she'll get shot from that perspective. And then we'll get the power, we'll kind of go out. The desk here, this, this isn't a terribly complex one, but I just haven't been very smart about it. I dodge this. I mean, there's a lot of different types of robots, some drop mines and move around in different ways. over here. Ugh. So it's not like super intensive or anything. But I mean there is a good challenge within the puzzles. That you can actually like, you know, you have to sit there for a second to figure out and everything like that. I guess there's the diagonal too. It's just not like a true 
twin stick shooting in that regard. Get over there, get it, get it, get it. Uh, okay. Now we'll grab the secret. And then I think we should be. Oh crap, no. We're gonna need three, aren't we? Take a quick look. Yeah, okay. So we gotta go back and grab another piece here. Overall, I, I think there's like a good amount of like content to the game. It directly tells you what everything is. That one's turned off. So we've actually gotta go. What do I think of this? Get over here, robot. And power this one up. And then, you know, the level of selections is fine. You definitely get, like, you know, obviously gameplay out of everything. And I like the story. I like the characters. I think the environment looks lovely. And just the general way that the puzzles are set up is very creative. Let's keep rolling here. Like, it makes you think, but you're not going to be frustrated by anything. You're not going to have any particular issues because they're more, like, logic-based. Kind of just got to move around. The robot to take us. And we're finishing another level. We'll go on to another one to show that off. Good job, everybody. Alright, so this area is a little bit larger in scale. Uh, we're going to definitely have a what's considered a boss fight, obviously. Which is a lot different than the uh, typical puzzle based levels that, you know, kind of go prior to this. Good luck! I have to deal with this monster. I gotta take some of its soul. Now be careful though, because death is imminent. I feel some general hostility. Run, 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 run. Oh, crap. Just gotta do this again. See, nothing too terribly difficult to actually do. You just gotta work through it. There we go. Ugh. So I mean, it's definitely something that I think all ages could enjoy. It might be a little bit of a curve on difficulty, but it's nothing too bad. Again, very logical. Oh.
Alright, cool. So we sucked the life force out of that one. This one's still going around. Maybe even hit that from here. So we definitely need to get a robotic pal over here. Go through the vents and see what we end up with. That thing is terrifying. I forgot about that one. That's more for a secret than anything. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go and get two power sources. Oh, as I almost walk off the ledge. So that's malfunctioning. This one. That one. We should be kind of smooth sailing right now. I think. Oh, you get like drag crates too, which I can't seem to be doing with these ones. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, this is one of the more complex levels. Actually, crap, he's got to shoot. Come on. There we go. Yeah, get across here. Come on. go power that ah oh, crap <laughs> oh wow <clears throat> see I did that thing where I forgot you switch characters and then kind of died that way Grab that. And then our robot buddy can get across. Alright, so that will make that open and then the exit is right there. But we need... Do we need three powers? I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, we're good to go. We just gotta get our robot buddy. And then that's, uh... What? That, that works. Okay, yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. So overall, I like the game. I think it's cool. Uh, it's a good challenge with the puzzles, a good variation. Yeah, I think the story is interesting, the character is cool, likable. I like how the narrative's delivered, and I like the variation of the puzzles. It's a good challenge there.